Bucks' hands. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Coming up next for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Between... And now our tale of the tape for this Middleweight Championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a judo fighter. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Hector. And now we can see the opponent fighting at the red corner. A mixed martial artist. He's at 61 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Presenting the challenger, Elias the Spartan. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. Oh, big head kick there. Nice leg kick. Went for the head kick. Oh! Going to the head kick now, Joe. Theodoro gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Now mixing one into the body. And he's looking for that left. Theodoro's shot there is blocked. Oh, tagged him again with a flush left hand. He's blocking almost all these shots. Oh, Hit him that hard with that hook. Look. We'll see if he can follow it up. Left hand lands flush over the top. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, again. Really swung for the fences with that hook. But misses. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now the hammer fist here by Lombard. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense.
may want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Lombard gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. And he lands a nice kick. All right, then a left. Another shot. Back to the clinch now, Joe. That's a nice clean shot. How good is that, Joe? He's definitely rocked. Big straight punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. How about that chin? Oh, oh, no, he clipped him. This could be it right here. Nice takedown. Beautiful sweep. Lombard gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. He's out. He's out. Do you believe it? To do that to such a durable guy and to do it with such composure, the way he recognized he had him hurt, relaxed, kept his rhythm, and just dropped bombs, and then boom. Well, that's the way they used to ground and pound fighters back in the day, literally trying to pound your opponent's head through the canvas. Elbows and strikes and hammer fists one after the next, an offensive explosion on the ground that gets him the knockout win here tonight. And there is the UFC middleweight king, best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC.